What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. This week we're going to check out an extension that allows you to apply crazy transformations to different objects inside of SketchUp. Before we get started, I want to take a second and thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Drew Zaraki, Ramiro Gaitan, Desi, and David Baird. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you want to check out, you want to support the show, maybe vote on the extension um, that I cover in the videos every week, make sure you check that out in the links down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, s for u Transformer. Plugin developer, Han Dyong Fyong V. Plugin cost, $15. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. This extension contains a large number of options for editing multiple objects at once inside of SketchUp, including moving, scaling, rotating, coloring, and more. When tied together, this combination creates a huge number of possibilities to create new shapes inside of SketchUp. The way it works is pretty simple. You just select a number of different objects within SketchUp and then select one of the transformation tools in order to start transforming objects. For example, let's select this series of boxes. If we were to select the first option, the transformer scale, we could set it to scale all of our boxes by a fixed amount by typing in a value. By right clicking on your selection, you bring up a number of different options for things you can do to edit your transformation. You can set the kind of transformation, as well as where the transformation starts, like the origin or the center or bottom of an object, and the axis along which the transformation occurs. You can set a single axis or multiple axes. If you tap the tab key, you're taken to a menu where you can more precisely set the functions of your transformation. So if I wanted to double the size of all of my selected objects, I could set the start point to the origin, the scale type to ratio, and the value to 2. This would double the size of all my, op all my boxes. However, what makes this extension really, really powerful is let's say I wanted to set this so that it dynamically scales all the boxes so that the scale factor is stronger on one side than the other. You can do that as well by using the linear scale factor. Linear scale means that the transformation gets stronger or weaker along a line that you dictate. To activate it, you would activate Transformer, right click, go down and select the transformation you'd like, then select the option for the linear transformation. Click to set your base point and draw a line across your selection, then click again. As you can see, this applies a transformation across your object, transforming all of your objects in a linear fashion. There's also options for randomizing and placing along points, though I haven't quite figured the placing along points out yet. The Move option has a fascinating option for moving objects to highest, which allows you to move objects until they intersect with a face, which lets you place objects along a complex surface really easily. Finally, you can also set this to randomize colors across an object or you can set a linear color transformation across all of your different objects, allowing you to create new looks using colors inside of SketchUp. So overall, I'd love to get into this extension more. It contains a massive set of tools for transforming different things inside of SketchUp, and I think you could do some really cool things with it. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this interesting to you? Can you think of some cool things to do with this extension? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.